What's going on, everybody? You back rocking with Sweet Science. You on the air? Um, you know it's a crazy time right now. Um, the world is going through this whole virus thing, so I hope everybody's keeping safe. Um, and washing y'all dirty ass hands. Um, and you know, just staying out the way. I hope everybody's good. Um, what I want to talk about this morning is the 154 pound division. Um, and where I where I think that it's going. Um, now, <clears throat> currently we got Jason Rosario as the unified champ. Um, and we got Jamel Charlo um, picking that WBC belt back up off of Tony Harrison, which he shouldn't have lost in the first place. Um, you know, when I watched when I watched the Harrison Charlo one fight, I feel like Tony for sure lost that one. But the weird thing about it is when you watch the Harrison Charlo 2 fight, the judges had Jermel up on the scorecards, but I feel like watching it, Tony handled him better than he did. Well, he didn't handle him the first time, but he handled the fight a lot better than he did the first time. So that's a little weird. And they and they gave and they gave uh Jermel the win on the scorecards had it gone to the uh, a decision. Um Jermel ended up knocking out Tony Harrison in the 11th round, which I um, I said it was going to be six or less, but you know, nonetheless, my prediction was right, and Jamel did knock him out in the 11th. He almost knocked him out in that first fight. Um, I think in round 12, he almost got him out of there. But um, nonetheless, the first fight was pretty damn good. I liked the story of it. Um, the second fight was even better. I don't think there's a need for a rematch. And um, in surprising fashion, Jason Rosario comes and handles J-Rock, who just got them belts, just got them belts. I think that was his first defense of them. Just got them belts off of Jarrett Hurd. So, you know, the 154-pound division has been shooken up, especially by this Jason Rosario thing. Now, what I wasn't really feeling um, at first is after the fight, when they asked... Uh, Rosario's camp were they gonna go for a unification with Jamel? The answer was no. And I think sometimes the belts in this day and age, the belts are a bad thing. You know, back in uh the golden era and the golden days of boxing, the belts meant something. It meant that you for sure fight the best, and nowadays it just means you build your profile. That's all a belt means nowadays. It means you're a profile builder. That's what you're trying to do. You're not going after the best. Um, that's why I respect Errol Spence a lot down at 147 because, you know, Errol Spence really does truly seem like he wants to fight the best. Now, the situation with uh, Bud, I mean, he's going to have to fight Bud eventually, but at what at what point? Because, you know, Bud is getting older. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so I feel like Jason Rosario shook 154 up and... Um, I believe, uh, I believe J-Rock opted out of going back after those belts right away. Why? I don't know. Um, you know, I think it's a double-edged sword when they say if you lose your belt or belts, you should go back for them right away or you should go build yourself back up. I, I feel 50 and 50 about that because I feel like if you go to build yourself back up, and you go do other things. Um, there's no telling where all those belts are going to be at that point. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's one thing. Um, the second thing is, if you do go back into it right away, you run the you run the risk of losing again. So it's a double-edged sword, man. On you know going back right away and going after your belts after you just lost them. Um, so shout out to Jamel first of all for going right back in there. Well. He had to fight uh, Jorge Cota only because Tony Harrison faked an injury. But shout out a big shout out to Jamel for going back in there and getting it in because that's just not a trait that a lot of belt holders have now nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Um, so definitely shout out to Jamel for doing that um, and not leaving it up to the judges. I think that that was that was a beautiful fight. I like the I like the Harrison Charlo one and two fights. Um, now. J-Rock, I believe, has opted out of the immediate rematch. So, 
that leaves a unification door open for Jason Rosario and for Jermel. Now, I hope they do get that unification going because, you know, we boxing needs that, man. We need we need more unified champs. We definitely need more unified champs. So, um, you know, I like Jason Rosario. I think that Jermel will beat him. Um, I can't say if it'll be a knockout or not. Um, if I had to go off of right now, I'd say it probably wouldn't be a knockout because looking at uh, a little bit of Jason Rosario's older fights and even the fight with uh, J-Rock, the boy can take a punch. The guy can take a shot, you know what I'm saying? So I like the fact that Rosario, he don't, he don't seem like a paper champ. Now, I know he's been beat before, you know what I'm saying? But uh, and, that, and that's also, uh, you've heard it before, that's also another problem with boxing nowadays. We put too much emphasis on the O. You know what I'm saying? A uh, O doesn't, it doesn't define your career because if that's the, if that's the case, then Muhammad Ali and, and Mike Tyson aren't two of the best of all time or not the best of all time. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think a O destroys you. I think it's what you do after the O, you know? Um, so I, I feel like Jamel's still undefeated. I don't feel like Tony Harrison beat him that first time. You know what I'm saying? So, um... You know, just a unification bout with him and Rosario, I think, is what the division needs. Obviously, after this whole quarantine virus thing is done um, and we get back to the sport. And when we get back, um, I would like to see that. I would like to see that right away, actually. Unification between Jamel Charlo and Jason Rosario, again, because that's what the division needs. These these belt holders, these belt holders and clout fighters need to man up and start fighting people. You know what I'm saying? At every weight class. So, anyway, that's my take today. Uh, unification at 154, and we'll see what it does when all this stuff is over and we're back to boxing. But, again, you rocking with Sweet Science. Join the air. Subscribe to the channel. Sweet Science 702. Again, hit the bell icon and beat the like button up. I'm out.